Okay. So, yeah, we recapping a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, you guys were you were on the train. Um, there was some kind of an explosion, and the um, the lead car, like almost certainly, was involved in some kind of a horrible accident, and it almost seems like it was sort of planned. Like they knew that only the um, uh, <clears throat> that there was only one, you know, one driver in the lead car. Um, but sorry, you guys, you, you guys can go ahead and recap anything that you think it was important. I mean, I think the most um, the thing that I can recap right now is, um, hey, there seems to be an uprising revolution happening. That's yeah. not good. <laughs> and then Q train just de getting a big boom sound. All the power stops. Children go flying. It's like, huh, I wonder if that's something related with the whole revolution thing and people revolting against their jobs or something. Um, I wonder. Yeah. It's possible. But uh, yeah. Uh, All I know is that right now my character is like they have their one fucking priority straight. It's like at least try and get like either the train to be um, you know, back functioning, not knowing what's mm -hmm. like if it's derailed or not. Or if it is derailed, next best option, try and get comms working at least so that like um, we can have a signal go out that, hey, we're trapped here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, okay. Other part, parts were about six. How, how many, how, how far away are we from uh, the nearest uh, station? I think it's um, left. Um, you're, you're, I guess it's like you're like close to. Um, like a couple of miles, like of like not um, not with you. You could definitely do it, you know, in a vac suit. It just that it would take you some time, and you'd be like kind of pushing it a little bit, you know, time wise, okay. um, yeah, because true. this, you know, this this terrain is rough. It's very mm -hmm. like um, very rough terrain. Um, now, do the vac suits? Um, uh... How easy is it to switch over to auxiliary? How is it? How easy is it, is it to what? Switch over to auxiliary. What do you mean? Air tanks. Oh, um, it takes it. It doesn't take long at all to like suit up. It only takes like ten minutes to um, to like suit up in a vac suit. Yeah, but, the air uh, tanks are usually um pre-built in. You just have to like um take the old one out and put the new one in. So. If I remember correctly, there is at least like a good like hour or like um three hours of oxygen in vac suits, depending on like yeah. um how, how high grade the um air tank you have in it is. Yeah, it depends yeah. on the like the level of like um typically you know if you're a belter, that yeah, if you like live belter. in space, you're gonna have a yeah. really good vac suit, you know. But if you're just like a person Electric. who works yeah. on the docks or something, yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's why, because uh, I, I thought you said a lot farther distance in between. How far is it to the uh, to the uh, that might that might be what I'm forgetting. How far is it to the uh, to the um, spaceport? To the to 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 where? Yeah, you know, to the spaceport. Oh, the spaceport. Um, yeah, you're um, you're actually so you're a lot closer to um the greenville like the the arcology yeah. the last one that you were you know you were in because yeah. um it was like you were only traveling for about like you know an hour yeah and you still had a ways to go before um or actually let's see yeah i guess you're yeah. you're kind of like at the halfway point okay. i haven't said this yet but god damn this is a pretty big moon i just realized geez it took an hour and we're still not there yeah, well, it, it's yeah, yeah. Well, it's a gas well, giant. comparable to one of the yeah uh, moons yeah. of the gas giant. Yeah, uh, I mean, like Titan has been called Titan for you know <laughs> for no reason. Uh, I keep no, forgetting I Titan to... is a moon. Yeah, yeah, Titan's a moon. It's not a planet. Yeah. Well, uh, also, like um, you like if you look at the if you're looking at the mm -hmm. planet surface, you can see the curvature, you know, or like the moon. Um, mm -hmm. But it's like the yeah, it's a it's a big it's a big moon. Yeah. 
Uh, the reason I was trying to get a, the hang of it there is because um, uh, Andrew was wondering, like, well, why are you taking your spacesuit? It was like, well, we'll just we'll just hop back over and we find a job and get a thing like that. My impression was that the spaceport was quite far away. Yeah, so that's why that's why I had taken my uh, my uh, my vac suit and anything really important with me. You know? Yep, uh, I just have a vac suit for um, job related stuff, so I don't have like yeah. a good one that has like high grade um, stuff in it. It's just like there to like do work outside ships and everything. Yeah. Since I'm a mechanic, I'm not supposed to be long term outside. I'm supposed to be like out there right, and then yeah. get in as best as possible. Yeah. We, yeah, uh, Anna grew up as a, as a belter, and so uh, as a result, she has uh, first money she gets invested in a once she got fully grown a, a really good back suit. So, and as a belter, you don't go anywhere without your back suit to, to, as well. So, okay. And we were also going to be trying to. There's along the way you said that's where the baggage compartment is, and there are more back suits. People that don't have them, right? Yeah, yeah. But so, they're, it's but like, they're the low grade ones. Yeah, okay. Typically, yeah. I mean, like it, it is something that people would, um, like something that you would probably easily find in the, mm -hmm. like the baggage, you know, or um, it's definitely the type of thing that people would pack on a, you know, a, a, a train, especially if they're going to like the spaceport or you know wherever. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And uh, Tessin has managed to get through the uh, uh, the doors, uh, uh, even though there's no power. So we are able to move through the different uh, departments. Yeah, there's still going to be more doors, though, obviously, because the train. So yeah. as long as we can get through like the top door, um, we can at least be outside the train for a bit until we have to go back inside, obviously, after seeing like the damage. Mm -hmm. that's true we could we could go outside and then um uh then go back in rather than having to uh, go through each um uh airlock manually yeah you just need more more vaccines <laughs> yeah so we've got two so far and we need uh at least one other correct uh, uh you so you don't i think you only have um the Ans Anslin or Anson has the she has a vac sleeve, which is not a vac suit. It just it just kind of covers your like your face, and then you know like your your body is still exposed to the elements, mm -hmm. so it's not going to keep you from freezing. And then um, if you you know if you have like stuff like in your your luggage or whatever, it wouldn't be here. You know, it would be in like the the um, luggage car. Well, yeah. I might have a vac sleeve with me, but uh, I, yeah, yeah, nothing else. My vac suit is, yeah, my vac suit's in the cargo hold right now, unfortunately. Exactly. So I have exactly. to get to the cargo, which technically is in where the crash happened because if this is like a normal train, it's really weird. Cargo holds actually like apparently in the front of the trains because trains can go backward or forward. So usually yeah. the front part is like where the cargo hold is. So I guess it's en route to get there if this is like a normal train like i said it could be completely different in the back uh, well i think you already indicated didn't you indicate to you that it that said it was in the front towards the front anyway um or towards the middle towards the middle well okay anyway yeah. we're still going we're still going that direction how many more cars do we have to go um so you are like you're towards the back of the train so you would have like three or four more cars to go before you got up to the um, like baggage, you know, area. So like, or the the engineering car would also be, you know, towards the middle. Or if you went back, then the um, the what do you call it? The other engine would be behind you. So. Yeah, uh, I think Tessin's just in full fucking Navy mode right now. It's like, these people need help. Mm -hmm. I'm going to at least try and do what I can do as a mechanic. Sure. So she's just going to keep going, like pushing through everything as mm -hmm. best as she can. Yeah. Um, 
We'll let so Adrian I think take care of it. We can assume that out. Adrian is um, just in uh, in like in this car, kind of tending to wounded people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. While you guys are doing, you're trying to make your way towards the right. um, like engineering, you know, to see what happened, and like assess the damage, and see what you can do. Yeah, well, I was thinking of going towards the not the locomotive, the the front of the train, uh, pretty much. Mm -hmm. mm, because uh, the last time I was thinking, like, you know, just explore a little bit and uh, make a short recon on the situation, so we kind of have an idea. Uh, of what went wrong from the engineering perspective, but I kind of want to find the perpetrators by going to the front of the train. Uh -huh. um, well, you yeah. we don't know if they did it, if this was from the inside or from the outside. There might have yeah. been something planted on the tracks. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. It is good that your character at least is prepared, just like yeah. it is, guys. Yeah, you know, definitely. But we don't definitely, know yet. Yes. It's a very big mystery until we get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no. Uh, definitely, Lucas is not going uh, in a very, very. I mean, they have a balance, and they are not going to go there to cause trouble. So I just want to pretty much gauge the situation. Like, um, do I see anything as I'm walking? I'm not going to shove people uh, aside or something. I'm going to sneak my way to the front of the train if that makes sense mm -hmm. yeah go, sure. go a little bit like i uh i imagine myself i am dressed like an old person even though i'm 37 uh, 35 and i'm going to mimic being weak i'm going to mimic uh very very shallow step and i also have this uh walking cane very very archaic that i will pretty mm -hmm. much act like I'm relying upon it to move mm -hmm. forward, if that makes sense. Damn, yeah. you're lucky. I'm just um, a buff t a lion woman. I can't pretend to be old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Lucas is more like, uh, damn it, I should have generated the character. Imagine a monk in the future. This is what I wanted. I envisioned when I created the character. <laughs> it's a very monk-like. It's like a Tibetan monk, but in the future. Uh, don't want to culturally appropriate uh, the monk. A hacker monk, but the monk never did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so what? old and feeble, and then you pull a fucking Yoda on them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Anna looks I... like a buff, a, like she's buff for a belter, but she doesn't other than, but that's for a belter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You sp this is like, this even though it's still a moon um it is high gravity it's higher gravity than earth yeah so you know people around yeah. here they look like strong you know yeah 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 well she didn't grow up here but uh i said her, her genetics are kind of skewed the other direction but she's made very uh very sure to make that she was in good shape you know so so when she goes to these places, she doesn't get crumpled, you know. Yeah, I just was in the Navy in a scout. Mm. So it's like, got to be built for that stuff, considering you have to last a long time. Yeah, yeah, she was scouts too, so yeah. Oh, you might have also met Meat Tank then. Yeah, maybe that's how you know each other from the scouts. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Meat yeah. Tank. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, like you know, continuing on everything. I assume, like, um, as we go through this cart, um, we have to open another door to you know, powers on everything to get to the next cart. Yeah, I can. Um, uh, like I said, um, I'm assuming we have equipment that has just enough power in it to power up, like a um, the electronics on a door, that sort of thing, like that. Oh yeah, we didn't try we, that actually. We, we didn't try and like um hack open the door actually with electronics. Yeah, you could try and do that. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I just I thought about that. It's like you know, in order to test something, 
uh, you have to run a, a current through it. So, well, no, I tried that first. It was like a combination of mechanical. Yeah, and yeah that's true. We we, we both we were both we were both doing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and a we got we got figured out what we had to do. So, yeah. Yeah, if there's any more doors, we can just do it again. You were electronics, and I roll um mechanic um for my popper jack to try and help crank mm -hmm. the door open. Yeah. yeah, well, you you've done it once, so it's easier, you know, now that you know how it works. So yeah, so uh, should we roll again if there's another door? Oh, um, actually, so yeah, I mean, you can you can do it, or 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 yeah, go ahead and do it. But go ahead and like, it's you know how to do it now, so you can both roll with a plus two. Okay. All right. Well, that's pretty good. Oh yeah. So, sorry. So, Tessin rolled a fourteen. So I guess yeah, add me... add two to your plus two, <laughs> right? Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, yeah. Let's see here. I'm doing electronics. Okay. Is that right, Mel? Like for a task chain, would a fourteen be a plus two? Um, if you're um helping someone specifically in TUI, yeah, you could um give them a plus two basically to help with their role. So it's here the plus two goes to me, um, because they're helping me with my mechanics, but they're doing their own thing with electronics. So they would just keep their plus two that they had before, basically. Mm -hmm. It would have to be like the same role as to help them. So if they're doing electronics, I would they won't get another plus two. They would just keep the one that you gave them because of like the knowledge of like the other door. Okay. Okay. So okay. All right, so I add, uh, so I hit the uh, thing and then modifiers two. Is that correct? Is that what? I yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So no problem. <laughs> Both of you. It's like. Yeah, you've you've done this before, and it just keeps getting easier, you know. Um, yeah, but yeah, so you you undo like the next door to go into the next cabinet, and um, you're seeing that like the each car like in front of you looks worse. It's like people look worse off for where like they took the brunt of the impact, you know. Like people in here, I have like obvious broken bones. They're like crushing, clutching like broken ribs and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm assuming some people are dead, obviously, because of the impact. Well, and it doesn't look like people were wearing like their seatbelts, like they're just used to doing this and they were not expecting, you know, like it's just, it's just doesn't happen. Like it's a routine yeah. for them. I'll tell them, but it's like, uh, we've got a doctor back there. If you can make your way to the back, you can uh, get some aid. Yeah. So, yeah, so so some people, you know, they start grabbing like injured people and, and pushing them, you know, bring them towards the front of the train and or sorry, towards the back, um, kind of hobbling their way back and stuff. And uh, um, so you only, you know, you you only have like a couple more cars to go before you get to the the middle car like the engineering car um and and also that's where like baggage would be right next to there um and uh so anslin is you know she's she's kind of making her way with you or anson sorry uh and she's trying to do like the same thing that um lucas is kind of doing where she's sort of it almost looks like she's trying to blend in but still moving, you know, through the crowd of people towards the front. Um, like you guys get the door open and then they start just kind of like, <laughs> you know, trying to blend in. Well, just one question, Steve. Um, <clears throat> so we know Andrew cannot play today, but is his character still in this story? May we make use of the of their character or not? It's like they will be passive in this endeavor. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I mean, I'm gonna say that for the most part, they're kind of doing 
first aid stuff. Okay. Okay. No, that's yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you really like, and say that you something happens and you get the uh, there, um, Adrian. Or, or, I think you decided it was Adrian, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, Adrian or Ed Hawk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, he's a he's a good pilot. So oh, okay. say that you get, you know, something like you you uncouple the right amount of the, the cars or something, and then he wants to you want him to help pilot or something to get the train like heading back in the other direction. I'd I'd let him, you know, or let you Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's a wonderful idea. So okay, before I will leave. Uh, role play wise and even communication wise, I'm going to tell Adrian that I am going towards the front. And if something comes up to be on guard, uh, we might need, like a pilot is more for a space shuttle, but this train is not a conventional train. It's it's like a space vehicle, essentially, even though it's attached with this magnetic rail. So they might be able to help. So I'm going to tell them that when I gave them the go to come and help me um, get us to the destination. I kind of don't want to go back, uh, even though this is a little bit uh, a tense situation. Let's say I'm, tele I'm telepathically communicating Anna and Tessan that I plan and I want to gorge them as well, their opinion, to pull them. I want to reach the destination. I don't want to go back from where we came or to stop middle of the road, if that makes sense. I imagine we all want to reach the port or the underport. Um, right, right. Um, and, you know, <laughs> I mean, it, it should go without saying that it's going to be tough to mm -hmm. go that way, you know, especially if like there's some kind of explosion on the on the tracks, you know, or something like there's a, uh, uh, or like uh, some kind of a uh, derailment or whatever. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, so. I think he's like, he's like, you know, okay, you know, like you could have just said that you didn't need to say it in my head <laughs> or something like, that. <laughs> like um, uh, you could have just sent me a text <laughs> or like your, but I mean, your phones, it's like you, if you look at your, your little data pads or whatever, you know, it's still like, you have like no signal, you're still in the middle of the tunnel. Yeah, 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 I'm going to politely apologize. Even thought I know we have no yeah. signal and continue my way, move towards the front of them. Yeah. I, I do have, like I said, if, if, pilot, if pilot won't work, although I've got that as well, uh, I do have drive just at one, but I, I do have drive. Yeah, yeah drive would be um, more um, better for other vehicles that aren't um, actually like um, ships and airplanes because pilot is specifically for ships and airplanes, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, this is but an like, either okay, one, so, so yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, if you have exactly pilot what one, it. then you you need to pick like a specialization, you know. So it's like it well, could I've, be spaceships, or got, it could be. I've mm -hmm. got spacecraft two and small craft one because I had a total three for that. Yeah, but I would I would definitely not let, make you roll at a negative three, you know, to to pilot to to get the train going in the right direction. Or whatever you know like you could do it you could do it untrained or not untrained but at zero which is better than the do we, three do, for do we do we know what the lady officer is good at so she's meant to keep the peace and order around here but mm -hmm. does she have any kind of extra extra skills like um I don't know. I guess as I'm walking and I you've told me that I see that she's trying to do the same thing. I'm well, going... obviously, um, she's better than us already because she has a gun that already makes her more superior. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. One second, but, I have to okay. her. Uh... Um, right now is the time to plot against this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has a stat plot. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, what I'm wondering is. I want to bond a little bit, but of course, in a very, very professional way. Uh, not the Hollywood romantic way. I'm kind of, 
I will talk with her as I'm seeing her. You know, we both have the same objective. I'm going to ask her very briefly, like, you know, the pilot might be very much dead. We need to take this into consideration. What do we do then? Do we have somebody, do you know somebody that may take their place, their spot? And she's like, oh, I just, I want to find out what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Same like here. there was an explosion and, um, you know, I mean, there we're seeing a lot of injured and we need to do something. I, yeah. I mean, I know that we're stuck in this tunnel, but um, we, I, I think we should at least try to get a message out or something. Yeah. You know, let, yeah. let, let them know yeah. that we're stuck and under duress. But, uh, do, do, you, do you know if the train has any kind of emergency systems? Because we don't have, and I show her my pad, we don't have any signal. So do we have any kind of uh, 911 equivalent, pretty much, something that doesn't care about signal that may indicate, hey, something bad has gone down? Uh, Tess and Tess and say, yeah, Tess and Tess speak up and say, like, like, well, if it's like any other normal train, it would have like at least some emergency um, comm gear. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. It's not even a jolt to it. So I suggest we get to my luggage so I can get the jolts from there and plug them in, do the heli dooley, pop them on, and then we can get the emergency comms back on, hopefully. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, Luke just does have a, a, a point there. Um, um, what... Uh, I mean, obviously, everybody in space is pretty much cross-trained and everything is cross-trained in something. Besides security, what are you cross-trained in? Are you asking Hanson? Yes, I am. Oh, like what she, um, she's, she's like, um, I was, you know, I was a Marine. Okay, so... Oh, so you're one of the uptight bigwig people in the military then. I see. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'm I'm a pretty good shot. Oh yeah, I bet well, you that's are. still that was oh, yeah. still kind of fall under the security category, but um I was just wondering what sort of cross training you had, you know. Um she is like she, um who am I thinking of? I just watched The Expanse. So I'm thinking of um uh what's her name? Uh the gunny, the um the marine from yeah. uh from the expanse with the, like the Australian accent. She's kind of yeah. who, but um she's like she's big. She's like she looks really strong. Yeah. Um and well, and you know, and like she mentions that she's a marine and mm. she's like she looks like she could definitely handle herself. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, that character report, in addition to the fighting skills, vac skills, could also, she wasn't uh, uh, Alex's character up to level on that, but she could pilot in, in a pinch. Not really. No, she, infantry. Yeah. But, uh, well, I'm at least guessing that she has a good leader skill because she's from the military, so I assume she at least has good command on her side. Right, yeah, that, that'll help with, with scared people and stuff like that. That would be very, very helpful, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, uh, advancing a little bit through this crowd of injured people, do, do we see, do, do, do me and... Uh, uh, can you send me the name of this uh, character? Uh, uh, okay, so me and her, do we see anything? So we advance slowly. Uh, we don't want to attract attention on ourselves. What do we see as we are progressing, let's say? It's taking a while, I imagine, uh, reaching this front. Um, I'll mm -hmm. go down to, yeah, I'll kind of reach down to what um, we say. We might be on the lookout for people that aren't injured because they would have been expecting this. Um, yeah, so you do see you do see people that are just kind of like just sitting in their seats, like they had their seatbelts on, they know that there's an emergency, mm -hmm. and then they're kind of like just trying to, you know, put the reap like deal with the rebreathers and stuff like that and staying calm. Um, okay. but you know, it could be that. Well, they're just doing what they think they're expected to do in this kind of situation. It's mm -hmm. just like 
stay in your seat and stay calm, you know? Basically, yeah. somebody who's exceptionally cool, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> So I might suspect that they also have some military training. These are not civilians that would very easily take the rules as they are written. I assume they were just some civilians that know the rules of um the train cart. But like, yeah, it's good to ask: Is there anyone here that like um specifically um come from the um ports or anything that were going to like their jobs or like you know anyone in the um specific um military and everything that was um in their seats going to their um there's any jobs that could help in the situation? Oh, um, yeah. I mean, there is a lot of people that look like sort of like more dock worker, you know, types or like more blue collar where they, but they're like kind of like nurse. A lot of people are nursing injuries and stuff, you know, like, um, uh, just kind of like hunched over or like, I think my, I think my shoulder's dislocated, you know, or something like that. Like the people, the farther up you get, people are looking worse and worse. Yeah. <laughs> well, that place will be impact. Now tell them it's like, you know, those of you that are severely injured or taking somebody to the back that's severely injured, wait a little bit to give the doc a chance to work on people that are really bad. But then after he's, uh, he's had a chance, you know, 30 minutes or so, uh, why don't you head on back that way and get those uh, wounds looked at? Yeah, and people are just kind of looking at you like with their masks on, you know, yeah. they're dropped from the ceiling, just kind of like nodding at you like mm -hmm. like they understand, you know. Yeah, I like to talk to like any of the um, like, you know, um, repair dock workers that are here and ask like if any of them have like um, any kind of like um, training revolving more on like um, electronics or trains or anything. If so, um, come with me because I need help with um, getting this um, the cons back on board and whatnot. Yeah, sure. So um you 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 mentioned that right you were you you mentioned that you're like hey I could use any you know anybody that can help you know who has some like engineering skill we're going to try and you know do do this like deal with um the uh you know assessing the situation and seeing what we can do so one guy kind of like raises his hand and stands up um <clears throat> And he's like, you know, like more of like a dock worker type. Yeah, as long as he can um hold a monkey wrench and like um um take um gears off, we're good. That's all I need from him. Yeah. But he um yeah he he like gets up and you know and uh, um joins you you know. Uh, Yeah, and he he introduces himself as um, uh, um, Tang uh, Jian Hong, or his, sorry, he says his name is Tang. <laughs> All right, Tangerine. Well, let's get going. Yeah, he kind of looks like sort of like uh, you know, like Chinese or. Um, Thai, maybe like that kind of descent. Okay, um, so you have two DM PCs with you. <laughs> one guy's more like a dock worker. One guy's is, or one lady is more like a uh, ex marine type. Um, and um, so as you're making your way like further up, right? Um, say i'll make you i'll have you do one more or no you know what don't even bother so you you're you're making your way up and you're you know as you're going you're undoing each one of these um the like airlocks mm -hmm. in between the cars right mm -hmm. so you have like the combined air of each car as you're getting further up um, and then eventually you do make your way to the um, engineering car, right? And it's like the, the um, you can see that it's like, it says there's like a, um, a thing on it that says like, no, 
you know, no trespassing or or whatever, like employees only thing, like as you reach the umbilical between the next car. Um and have we reached, have we reached the baggage car first or is that after the you no, know, it's the you you so like right at the middle is like the the engineering and then there's like more like kind of freight stuff that is towards the front. Okay. All right. All sure. right. Well, um, immediately get into the engineer car. Um, I look around basically for like um the map of the innards for the um train if there's any emergency, like a little map for engineers to look at like all the um special systems and coordinates for them. So I know what to look out for specifically when I'm taking like plates off and everything. Look under them. Yeah. So there's like um there is emergency stuff like there's like fire extinguishers and you know all kinds of like stuff like that that. The, if you're if you're looking for it, you you know you would see like um, kind of like emergency releases and stuff like in between the the cars, you know as well. Like you you're pretty sure that it wouldn't be too hard for you to like detach one car from another if you had to. Oh, as you're taking things apart, I will put them. In order, so he has to put it back together again. It's, it, it'll be within, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, just, Tessa, but yeah, just like making does, a mental note, like looking around, like, okay. Yeah, Tessa like, gives us a snort and everything, like, and just us go off and everything. It's like, well, shit, that won't be good. Got to do that then. <laughs> because um, her worst, um, the worst um, case scenario is detaching a cart, because detaching a cart is really bad, because it means that. There's less load, obviously, so less to worry about. But there's also the risk of like the air um in the other carts actually get dislocated as well, which means mm -hmm. the emergency air in those um carts will not last long for the other people. So that is the worst case scenario at this point. If Tessin has to do that, yeah, let's. We don't have to do that. Um. So, think, are you trying to? What? Go ahead. I was going to say, we need to get to where there's communication to see if we can find out how long it's going to be before somebody gets out here. Before we do anything drastic, like just hatching some cards. You know, cars. That's pretty drastic. Yeah. yeah. I will take a emergency with me, though, just in case emergencies, because yeah. you never know when um, electronics can go awry. Yeah. Um. Okay, so are you trying to get into the engineering car? Um, yeah. yeah. Um, so you're trying to do like the same routine, you know, of like undoing the thing, ranking on it, and it's just it's like it won't it won't budge. Um, it's like you've unlocked it and done everything, and you're both like ranking on it, and it won't and it doesn't budge. Um, could it be jammed uh, from the other side somehow? Yeah. Is there is there like a, also a pad around, or is it just that like it actually is just legit jammed? It's like it's like it, it moves a little bit and then it catches on something. Yeah. So in other words, like somebody could have stuck a bar in between the spokes or something like that. Yep. Uh, yeah, it could be, at, which means it could be at the end of the door, which means we can't get it, unfortunately, unless we have like some way of like um, a mechanical arm to like go in there, which unfortunately we do not have that. Do we have torches? Those would be my bag, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> in, your, in your like your luggage, right? Um, yeah, I won't be so allowed to carry them in on my um, passenger seat with me. Okay, are there any emergency stations with equipment along the way on the, in these cars? Any what? So what would they have? Any emergency stations with equipment? Say, like, um, the car gets isolated. If a car gets isolated by itself, what would it have? What would it, people have in there to work with? Yeah, so it's mostly, like, kind of like the stuff that I that I mentioned, like fire extinguishers and, and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And, you know, like first aid kits and mm -hmm. um, not really like any like cutting tools or anything like that. Um, but uh, 
I think Anson Anson would like she maybe volunteer. She'd be like, I can try and go around. You know, I can put the back sleeve on and I can try and go around and open it. You know, from the other side, or or maybe like just go out there and sort of look at the damage. Um, because I think I mean I know that there's going to be back suits if we can get in there. There's going to be back suits in there. It, uh, Tensa does pick up and say like that's a bad idea. The only one here where I'm actually cure military train with a gun, right? You're the best to stay in here with everyone else. I have until I go instead. If there's anything difficult, I can take care of it. It's like okay, okay sure, sure. Um, I mean, do you, do you want my gun? Uh, I'm more of an axe kind of girl myself, but a gun does help. But like I said, you have the gun for a reason. Stay in here with the gun in case if anything gets a bit rowdy. Okay, all right. I, I I trust you. Yeah, I hope I can trust you too, lady. And as and I take the um, you know, vax leave and everything and get ready to um go out to try and see if I get in the other side and fix what's going on. Well, she didn't have a vax suit, remember she just has a vax sleeve, so you've got a very, very limited amount of time. Yeah. Yeah, it's and also it's like um it's just it's not really designed for like long term um you know like exposure it's it's only meant for like a short periods yeah i have 30 um, minutes basically if i remember yeah. correctly with a vaccine yeah. so i have to get this done really fast so she like she like gives you the you know gives you the back sleeve um and kind of and then if you if you want to like go out through the umbilical you can um, just like undo that <laughs> or like, you know, you can reseal, like, like close the door again on the train car and then go out through the, through the umbilical. Yeah, that'd be my plan. Without like depressurizing the whole, you know, the, the whole train car or like all of the train cars behind you at the same time, you know? Yeah. Uh, Tessa just like you know gives a smirk through the um vac come and says with well, a salute like, "Wish me luck, y'all. I'm gonna need it." Yep. Uh, what everybody mm -hmm. look? Military is yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look. At, okay. I'm thinking it's a jack of all trades. I'm gonna look at things like the lighting. Anything that I could jury rig to see if there's anything I could jury rig to make into a cutting torch. Maybe like the um, light beam. Yeah. It's it'd be really tough to turn, you know, a light into a like a welding torch. Uh, okay. Um, uh, what else would be what else would be on the okay, we've got we've got this. Fire extinguisher is pressurized. We can try to think there's some way we can use that. Yeah, but it'd be tough to like, you know, beating through the door with a fire extinguisher or like pressurizing it like a grenade, you know, it just like yeah. Yeah. um but let, what's let's do let's do testing real quick. Um okay. So we'll we'll switch to you. So you're so you're going outside the, the train, right? To outside of to kind of like look at the damage or like check out this the engineering car, right? Yep. Um okay, so as you you know, you look like further up um as you get out of the train, you look further up and then you see there is like some serious damage. It's like um there you can see that there is a fire, you know, going um there's it looks like a good chunk of the train has just completely derailed and then it's like it's a horrible you know horrible accident um and um the but the engineering car you know it's like the the back half of the train it's it is like derailed there are like you can tell that it's you you were just spared like most of the impact um and but you're not even sure that anybody is alive like up further up um just from looking at it like it looks like they were just depressurized like they're on fire 
Um, so, and then there's like, you know, electri electricity kind of arcing off of things and stuff. Um, but the, uh, the, the engineering car is like, if you're kind of like walking by it, you can see that there are like emergency lights on inside the engineering car, like the other cars. Has it been breached? I'm assuming he's relaying this information back to us. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm getting this information to them on like, you know, a little like um, comm earpiece to the group basically. Cause I assume we have a connected like earpiece at things. And I tell them yeah. like how severe the damage really is. And it's like, you know, oh fuck, it's uh, it's really bad. Like a, like a hog tied um, summer of July. Yeah, it's blazing. <laughs> Um, so are, but are you trying to get in? Yeah, obviously I don't have a limited amount of like air in this thing. So I have to like work fast. So, um, you start going through the same like emergency kind of procedures to like, you know, like looking at the thing and then like trying to, to wrench it open, you know, cause there's no power. Right. And then you hear somebody like, I'm armed. Like, don't, don't, don't come in. Um, back off. <laughs> uh, uh, Tess just says, "Like, hey, I have future thing. I'm a mechanic here to help. Oh, I'm trying to get the cons back online." But um, and then looks at the wreckage. I think that's not a worthy cause anymore. So a guy like kind of pops up, and then looks at you, um, and like kind of gives you like the up and down. And then, and then he's like, "Show me your, show me your hands, like, turn around." Um, <laughs> she's like, she looks at her um, like um, four fingered paws, and she's like, he puts them up. <laughs> yeah, with a, with a raised eyebrow, like, eh. <laughs> Can you give me just a, um, either like a social role or um. Just like if you That's have a, if, if you, um, so unfortunately, um, how social works is, um, so social isn't actually like a um persuasion or diplomacy thing. Social is like your social standing. Oh yeah. With, um, people, so if there's anything here that would work right now, would be a specific, I guess, policy barrier, which I do not have that skill. So it would be a flat roll with them. Um, negative. What about, per, what, what about persuade? Um, I do not have that, so it would also be a flat roll um, with like but like stats. Leadership, I would take like leadership or something like that. Like, I or also, even even I like also, if you're if you want to do like mechanic, like talk in mechanic, you know, be like. I mean, that's all I can talk in because I'm a mechanic. So, um, I yeah. will. So I will do this. I will like to try and do at least a persuade um with mechanics added on there so i don't get the negative at least and it's a flat roll sure yeah just like speaking in mechanic like All right. you gotta do this and this and oh that's really good <laughs> okay so um so he like kind of looks at you up you know like sees that you're not armed you know sees that you have like um just some tools and stuff you know and uh and like a back sleeve on and then, um, and he's like, okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up the, the, uh, I'm gonna open up the airlock. Please do, I'm gonna I'll have like 10 minutes air, and I do not want to die out here, suffocating. Um, yeah, so he, he like, you know, he's like, he's like, pull it from the other side, like, um, starts, like, you hear something slide out from the, from like the airlock like there was a wrench stuck in there or something and then he starts to kind of crank on it you know from the other side um and then uh you know it does like it does eventually uh let you in um and then you see like this kind of like just like small he's definitely not armed um, <laughs> he, he, he probably just like heard the explosion, like ducked down, stuck a wrench in, in the airlocks, you know, in the doors and then, and then tried to like hide. Um, but you can see that the, like the emergency, everything is like the, 
there's like little things going off everywhere in this car. Um, and then the emergency lights are on and it doesn't really look like he has done anything to get things back online, basically. Yeah, I obviously close the door and everything so that the air, um, you know, comes back in. And when it does, I take off the Vax helmet and just shake my head so my ears um can go back into their, their stand-up position. And I'm just like, God damn, Anna, why do they not make Vax suits with ear holes like mine? Anyways, name's Tessin, um, mechanic. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm assuming you're not one, considering you didn't really, and just, you know, gestures everywhere, looks around, didn't do anything about that. And he's like, I just started last week, man. Like, they aren't paying me enough for this shit. Well, in a life death situation, don't matter how much you get paid, your life is as much as you're going to get paid. If your life means I don't want to do shit, then that's not a great life, buddy. Well, do we do we get attacked or something? Is there like the OPA out there? Or I just I heard the explosion. I you know I went flying. Not from it yet. All I know is that the the front carts are on blazing, and I'm here to try at least get like the comms back on. Like I said, that's now out of the issue. But if I can get the power back on here, we should be good. Okay. Um. So are you are you trying to get things like booted up again? Yeah, obviously, since this guy um, is here, I'm going to ask him at least to try and help at least, even if he's just a rookie. Sure. Yeah, I think just give me another mechanic roll. Yep. Uh, actually, if you want, if you want to see if you can get him to let that um, Anna in, she can hold up some of her gear. You know? <laughs> yeah, and and I was going to give you a plus two for him helping you, so you're you're good. Um, but uh. So you sort of like you start turning things back on, right? Like you're flipping the switches and stuff. And um, there is like the it's like something is draining um, power, like from the front of the train, um, like there's a short, you know, or whatever. And then that like trip the um, trip, the breaker, like trip the emergency power and stuff. Um, but if you, you know, if you want to do like redirect power or if you want to use communications, if you want to like look at, you know, like there's like, it looks like there's information like, or like you could get into the computers maybe with, um, with like a computer's role. Well, I've got electronics computers. Yeah, um, I would have to look at the oven and the doors open to get on over here. That's their moment, Jebo, not mine. I'm just a mechanic yeah. that works on the um, machines. I don't work on computers. <laughs> and I do have power plant, too. I mean, if we can. Yeah, so am I at least able to like, get the um, door open that they're um, stuck at to get them in here? Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, the uh, yeah, but there's like things are going off like a Christmas tree. You know, it's like it's you see that there's it like says that there's decompression in like multiple compartments. It says that there's like no contact with um, like basically the, the first um, quarter of the train. And then there's like an electrical short and like the power is draining like at a, um, and, uh, and then there is messages. You actually have, there's some like messages that have been sent that are, like um voicemails <laughs> from passengers or from the uh the 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 official messages um you don't know yet you you haven't opened them yet like it's like voice they're, they're like um uh like voicemails from the uh whatever um the like what do you what would you call it the the train, um, like the port authority, you know, or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I after getting well, the doors open, I just direct them and over there and say, like, um, please deal with this spaghetti code. I don't know what the fuck it means. <laughs> yeah, and if you if you want to do a computer roll, I'll take a computer roll. Okay. You do. You have pretty good computers, right? We said. We yeah. said you did, right? Yeah. 
And showing their own specialty is computers, so that's a good thing. Well, he's got level two in computers, so yeah. Yeah, or, or electronics. I would take a straight electronics role or computers. Okay. Uh, well, straight electronics is better, of course. Okay. Well, no, computers, if you have a plus two, it's like your intelligence or your education plus two plus um, plus the role. So that's already okay. a plus four. If you yeah, have basically, a like, basically, if your okay. um, specialty in electronics is computer, you would get a bonus with that, with computer stuff. So that would bring it up to a total of six. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, plus four. Plus four. Well, it's it 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 seems to t what what is the total? It says level and then total. So I'm I'm assuming the total is with the bonus. So it would the... be either your your intellect or your education. It looks like your intellect is better. So that would give you a plus two, and then the, your edu your computer's skill would give, put you at another plus two. So that would give you a plus four to the roll. Okay. So but you roll... could just you could just click um, electronics computers. Yeah, that's your what sheet I got, looks. So... Yeah, the way your sheet is set up is kind of weird because yeah. that's your specialty, right? Is computers? Yeah, and I see right there. Yes. Yeah. Remote exactly. ops and computers. So, oh, it does say you have a plus six. Yeah. For that. It might be might be adding on um, something else on the sheet. Yeah, I, I it's think it's electronics adding, um, or electronics. Yeah, really it's adding cool. that stuff together. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. okay, yeah, like that's like a critical success. Mm -hmm. So you get, um, just for anybody listening, Anna roll a 16 with all of her bonuses. Um, so um, you get multiple messages um, and it's like, attention terrorists, what are your demands? Um, and, uh, there's like, there, there's like multiple attempts. There is, um, like a, what's like, there's somebody who sounds like more, I don't know, kind of like authoritative or something like makes like a, like a, you know, a, like we don't negotiate with terrorists. And then there's like somebody who comes on, who is like a hostage negotiator and they're like, do you have hostages? What are your demands? You know? And, uh. And and then it's like kind of like this, um, uh, it's like they're softening. Like each each separate message that you get, um, like like make contact with us and we'll send um, emergency services and uh, like such so on and so forth. Like they're at first it's like very rough and then it kind of softens. This is on the side of the uh, port authority or who's softening. Yeah, these are these are messages from like they're coming from the like port authority. Okay, so but they're being sent to this train, which would indicate that whoever they're in contact with is on this train. Well, it's like they've been trying to contact you. They've well, been trying how to contact you and haven't been getting through. Okay, so how are we getting this? Why why are the port authority's messages that are being sent to the terrorists going to this train? Um, so it's like you just like turn the power back on on everything, like the computers and yeah. all that, and like yeah, somehow. So you get all of these messages at once. And well, it I mean, says, you, you know, and like you, but they're you addressing you as terrorists initially. So they are they are addressing somebody uh, or think they're addressing somebody on the train, correct? Right. And from what we can tell, they're not getting any response back. So right. they are assuming that there's terrorists on the train, but there might not be. Right. But it's like the very first message that you get is like terrorists. You know, it's like like in no clear terms, they're they're saying like, "What are your demands? Like, what do you want? You know, um, do you have hostages and like stuff like that?" It's like there's I'm no ambiguity. Yeah, where it's like they are addressing. Huh? I'm gonna look at the timestamp. Is that right before or right after the train and the explosion? It would be right after, like right, right immediately after. after the explosion. That is when they start sending the messages. And then so, um yeah. Yeah, up until like now, like just recently. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds does it 
I'm sharing with you guys. Does it sound to you to like they got their their remote, you know, the transponder uh, went dead, uh, and then um, they assumed the reason the transponder went dead was that, and then they saw an explosion. Uh, the transponder went dead, and they're assuming that a terrorist blew the line and blew 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 something up. Uh, and, and that's just responded accordingly because there's been no response back from anybody on this end. Right. So yeah. they're, they're thinking there's terrorists here when there's probably not. Well, the, I mean, there was an explosion. Well, there was an explosion, but I mean, we don't know. I have we haven't had a chance to look. We have to look to see if it's uh, uh, if it's um, something that was not um, a fault with train. Uh, oh. But I mean, my my. My feeling is why, if this is a terrorist attack, why aren't they taking credit for it? Why aren't they making demands? Right. Um, okay, so, um, and if you're looking around just in this car, there are five exits. So there's plenty for all of you and minus, you know, you're, you're either going to have to pick um, Anson or the, like, mechanic guy. But all of you get back seats. Uh I would actually usher the mechanic guy to stay here with this guy to make sure nothing else keeps going down and to keep power fluctuating for the civilians in their cars. We've got the back but, seats, um, so we can go we can go out to find out whether or not there's been damage to the track. Right. Yeah. So we know that's why I'm just damage. ushering for like specifically um, you yeah. know, this guy. That's what us the mechanic guy to help this rookie guy because clearly this guy is not experienced mm -hmm. and and I mm -hmm. think I'll be needed more out there than in here at this point. So um are you are you suiting up? Yeah, I'm definitely suiting up. I'm putting a vac suit on. <laughs> okay. Is everybody is everybody suiting up? I mean, I will take mine, but I will be careful not to consume the oxygen like only when needed, pretty much. Yeah. Um, you're you're muted, Anna. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say every well, there's so there's five back suits and seven people, correct? So, well, I was assuming, um, Adrian, right? So there's four. Four PCs, two DM PCs. Well, Adrian's so, way back. Way back. Adrian yeah. is way well, back I'm, there. I'm yeah. just, I'm just counting heads. Yeah. You know, like if yeah, you, yeah. if you decide to leave the train. We have the two well, like um um other people with us and um the scared guy that's a rookie that didn't know what the fuck he was doing or literally just not doing anything. Yeah. So you can leave. You can leave the um <clears throat> the guy who. You know, you you picked up like uh, in the last car in uh, Tang. You can leave the the mechanic guy, like the the dock worker guy there, to kind of work on things in the train. If are, you are, are you ready to abandon the train right now? Right now, or I, I was just thinking we would go out no. and take a look and see whether or not there was damage um, to the so track. So here's the pro So here's the problem. Um, after the engineer cart, the thing that's over there's the cargo cart. But the problem is there's like giant holes and there's stuff on fire outside. So for all we know, the um cargo cart's air pressure could be damaged. Yeah. Is basically what yeah. this that was given. But but there would probably definitely be more vac suits in the baggage. Like you could go through baggage, it would just take mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Um, but I was just I was just wanting to know who was suiting up to go outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. suiting up automatically, yes. Yeah, so. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, we're leaving okay. the um other guy here, the uh, um engineer guy, to help this guy with keeping power like directed in the train as best as they can. Right. So you tell him you're just like, okay, you guys work on this. We're gonna go look That's at the true. damage, you know, and see what we can do up there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I, uh we call him things like Lucas. Uh, in case there really is terrorists here, which I'm doubting, or at least there are terrorists on the train, uh, mm -hmm. being keeping your third third eye 
Ms. Warriors, whatever you want to call them up. <laughs> yeah, so, if there are children in the train, you, they blew themselves up with the train in the front there. <laughs> um, as you're like suiting up, you know, and it takes you like 15 minutes to get everything on. And, you know, you, you need help. Like you need help putting it on and all that. Mm. Um, so as you're doing all that, the, the two guys are in this car kind of like working at things like pushing buttons and stuff. And, um, and they're like, we need to, um, we need to decouple the, the, where the cars, you know, like where the damage is, um, because something is shorting the power. Um, and then, and then they start trying to get message, like they send a message back to like the port authority and, um, and, and they're like, you know, mayday, mayday, this is engineering on train like like give a code you know and let's say that there was some kind of an explosion and um that many people are injured you know and they're stuck like the train is derailed and so on and so forth um so but they they send a message back to the people that were you know sending messages in like asking for terrorist demands <laughs> mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, when I'm in there, I'll see if I can, uh, figure out what short is, uh, that's probably better be the first thing I do as soon as we get in there. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think, well, you did get, you got like a crit actually, you know, with your last electronics roll. So if you wanted to say that if you wanted to just like redirect the power, like shut off power to, to the train, like the cars that are damaged, just like, shh, like turn okay. it off to those yeah, cars. You can exactly, do that. Exactly. That's kind of what I had in mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and then there is like a there's like a battery that's in this car. Mm-hmm. There's like a big battery, you know, big lithium or whatever battery in this car. Um oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So so it like turns you you turn that off and then the um the uh what should we call it? The the short goes out. And then I will, I'll give you one more thing. If you want to, you can look at the manifest. You can look at what's on the train. Oh, yeah. Um, so like, as you're, we're, we'll just wreck on this. Like, as you're kind of going through some of the stuff um, that's like on the train, there's like all kinds of stuff that you would expect. Um, uh, and like, uh, just like random stuff, um, like machine parts or, you know, um, manufactured, like whatever, like a lot of stuff that's getting shipped out to that's going to the, the spaceport. Um, and, uh, and it's, it's like a lot of like electronics and like manufactured, like machinery and stuff like that. But then there is something else that jumps out at you. There is a low birth car which is uh, um like people that are frozen in cryo um and and then it's um the i'm just giving this to you because you got this crit right um the the names seem a little bit generic like on the car it's like john smith john um such and such you know and then like like helen smith like the names just seem like there's no there's no like ethnic kind of sounding names. There's just like it's like it just it's just weird that yeah. there is like first of all a low birth car of frozen passengers, period, and that they all have kind of like generic sounding names. Now, would the people on the train be responsible for reviving these people, or does somebody come in and Pick it, pick the things up and revive them someplace else. How does this work? It takes like a it's um like if you if you're frozen in cryo, you don't just like you don't just thaw out like as soon as they open yeah. it up. Exactly. You know, yeah. Like it takes like sort of like a medical detox to come out of cryo. And like people don't make it sometimes. Um but I mean, would they commonly do this on the train or would they take these things off the train? No, this is bizarre. 
And, and the, is there I, is there a contact information, something like that, for all these people? Is like okay. Well, I mean, you know, who to contact to to take them to a lot of them. Um, no, it's like they. Um, actually, okay, if you want to do some more digging, you can give me another computer troll. Okay. Like, right. say that you're trying to sort of hack, like, look at yeah. this manifest and see who who this like, um, like looking for like some kind of a paper trail. Mm-hmm. This John Smith is very similar to Walt Disney. <laughs> it wants to hide its identity. Um, so yeah, you're kind of like going through this stuff, and um you find that there is uh it's like the each, you know, like with the cargo, that there are like listed like owners of cargo and stuff, like this belongs to this corporation or this belongs to this corporation. And um, the, uh, the, the, the really weird thing is that as you're digging, right, you look through um, the uh, like, who, who does this belong to? And it's, it's a, um, uh, it's a, a biotech company. It's called Astrogen Biotech. And I think, or I, I guess, do you, are you well, telling anybody this or? Uh, I'm, well, yeah, it's like, uh, uh, well, first of all, let me, let me ask a question. Is cloning illegal or legal? Cloning is illegal in many, in many, in most of um, the, um, what do you call it? Um, uh coalition space Mm -hmm. um where you are but here there's a lot of things that are kind of fringe that they just get away with like you're not supposed to actually clone human beings but you can grow arms you can grow um you know if if people come Mm -hmm. here for like medical procedures like that like where they clone limbs and stuff like that that. but you're not supposed to clone people yeah yeah that's okay but yeah, so they shouldn't be safe for wear just spare parts. Yeah. 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 But like having actual people in cryo and then where it's like a, a biotech yeah. company is, you know, has a bunch of people in cryo, it's very, it's very weird. Yeah. Because I mean it's setting off one of those. If they if they have the capability to clone um parts, they shouldn't need to clone whole people to use as parts. So they're probably using them for something else. But uh but yes, I will. Very, very softly tell each of you what's going on. It's like, hey, you guys, you know. Yeah. So the two, you know, the engineer guys are kind of working on things. Mm -hmm. And then you're kind of going through this. And then you, like, pull people aside, like, quietly, like, like this. I I wanted to ask uh, uh, Anna something. So since she uh, repaired and restored some of the communication, Mm-hmm. Any reply right now? So, these potential terrorists could never receive this transmission practically. Well, if they taken over the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. no reply. No, no oh, traffic on this. No, it's, sorry. It's just like as you're doing all this, you know, like they send the message back, and then you're kind of suiting up, you know, and oh, Anna's okay, like okay. going through okay. the computer and stuff. So, like in real time, you know. Almost immediately, actually, you do hear like they send the the you know they they start trying to get oh, like a, okay. you get the call like the call goes up you know um, and then they they get on the line with you and um, and then they're like they're like uh, what are we going to call these guys Port Authority is not I guess yeah they're they're Cyber like um, yeah train like one one five seven what is your situation like the we there we saw that there was an explosion through the survey you know the cameras in the tunnel um and you know we see that there's a fire or we saw or like yeah or sorry they don't see that they don't see it's like the the explosion went off and then yeah. it like knocked out the cameras yeah. like yeah. in the tunnel 
Yeah, then yeah. we should inform them that this is just a mere accident. We should actually well, no, well, no, let, let's let's uh, not go so far as that. Let's say uh, they, they wanted a situation report. Um, we'll give them that the uh, currently the uh, uh, mechanic is working on uh, stabilizing the systems. Uh, they've taken uh, his um, co-opted a couple of us to that are have engineering and, and mechanical background to assist on this. Uh, I've rerouted the uh, electricity so because there were there was going to be uh, shorts and possible to, possible other explosions on this. Um, we don't know what the situation is outside. We just we just put on vac suits and are already going to be going outside to survey the situation. But we had not we had not got that far yet. And then they they ask who they're speaking with. Okay. I'm Anna Renfrey, and I'll uh, I'll go go through my list of certifications. Okay. Um, is everybody else yeah. using your real names? Yeah. Lucas Lucas is only saying that their name is uh, Leon. Okay. Their 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 handle. Only people close to him actually know that his name is yeah. Lucas. Yeah. Okay. I just yeah. um I just say that my name is um. Um, Car Carvel, because um, that's the name that I go by with the Navy when I was in it. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, and then the the engineer guys, you know, they say like who they are and like what their designations are and all that, and like I'm an E one. Like I I do this on the on the train, and this is my first week. <laughs> um. So, uh, pretty tough job. Yeah. Um yeah. but I'll, uh, I'll say that I'll, I'll kind of say quietly over the intercom it's like this is why we got this is why we got drafted into helping. <laughs> <laughs> um so say that like by the time all this happens, you guys are suited up. Mm -hmm. You know, um you've got your back suits on, you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell them, okay, we're we're suited up, we're ready to go outside and take a look at the situation. We'll report back to you as soon as we find out what the situation looks like outside um do we want to take a short break halfway point yeah yeah it's okay. fine by me okay okay there we go. all right ten. ten minutes yeah sure thing you right. ten ten good for me. give me a chance to get Almost. more water okay there we go uh one quick okay. quick question where was the um on that manifest, can I tell where this uh, uh, car was with the um... the the um, the low burst car, the like yeah, the low burst car, cryo yeah. car? Yeah. It was right behind the engine. It was like the first passenger or the like the first like freight car. Okay, so it's definitely toast. There's no way in hell. Okay, like, so we don't have to we don't have to figure out some way to rescue those people yeah i mean you could go and you could go try and inspect it it would probably be pretty gross um <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i'm interested in inspecting that <laughs> i don't yeah. know why I, I just find it i find it interesting because i mean i probably in game as well watched too much uh mystery drama but um yeah. There's weird that this accident happened on this train that also has this yeah. Yeah. hard to identify cloned bodies. Yeah. yeah. If you want to go play investigator, you can, but like unless we really have to go through that cart, we shouldn't actually investigate it and just ignore it if we can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm um, not going to go against the group. So uh mm -hmm. So um, after you like turn the power off to these cars that are in the like towards the towards the front, you mm -hmm. don't see the electricity kind of like arcing anymore. Like it's like not like sparking and stuff. Um, but the um, there is still fires going. Uh, and, you know, since it's low atmosphere, it's not like a, you know, like a big burning blaze. It's more of like a smoldering blaze that's kind of like it's putting off a lot of n smoke like noxious smoke black smoke mm. yeah 
Well, I I, I, w- I want Lucas is going to take um, a fire extinguisher. I imagine there's lots on the train as well. Yeah. Um, I'm going to equip one and uh, short bursts only when necessary, since it's just smoldering. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. are we going to go outside of the train first, or are we going to go try to get through to the uh, the car the cargo compartments first, or what are we going to do here? Um, we're going outside to get to the cargo cart because um, you know, that makes it easier to get through that way. Yeah. So that way we don't have to like mechanically and electronically do the doors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I also because um the power is off in those carts now. So if we did um open the door to where the engineer cart is, um everyone would get sucked out into the other cart because there's no more power in there. So that would be a bad idea to open them now. Actually, you got the power back on. No, I mean yeah, the I carts it. that don't need the power anymore because no one's in there since you know they're crashed and everything. Yeah. So it's probably not a good idea to open them from the actual powered cards. Well, we we, we I mean they're, they're still gonna have the airlocks in between, right? So yeah, each car, each car mm-hmm. is like individually sealed. Yeah. So but it's like you've opened all the ones up until now, you yeah. know, like exactly. up until yeah. the engineering car. So all right. those cars yeah. have like their they're they're all sharing air now at this yeah. point. Exactly. But yeah, I think we, we want to go outside and take a look around anyway. So let's go. We might as well go out that way. Right. Okay. So yeah, if you if you want to go head towards the engine or sorry, the baggage cars, that would be like right before or right um just you know, like the next ones up. Um, and then there's freight, you know, that's like mm-hmm. further up. Mm-hmm. Um So when we get outside, what does it? What are we seeing on terms of the the tracks and the stuff like that? Um, so it does look like the the baggage cars have definitely been like pressurized, but they may have not been necessarily pressurized really to begin with, you know, because right. it's just like freight and baggage and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but they they look like you know they're like torn open, um, and then like there is train cars that are just like. You know, torn open from over. the inside or the outside. Wait, what? Torn open from the inside or the outside. It's hard to tell because you know, like just the way the chaos of how the the cars of like one goes this way, one goes this, way, and then they're like on top yeah. of each other and just but like I mean, they, kind of like split open. Looking at this cloud of belongings, can I spot any kind of uh kinetic weaponry or anything probably somebody packaged a small little gun um flying yeah. around if you're if you're going through the baggage cars if you're just trying to like just sort of scan it just like look at it and see if you yeah. see anything that's yeah. fallen out mm-hmm. um let's see how am i gonna figure? roll to see what kind of crap was a laying lot, a lot roll. <laughs> yeah yeah right um so just like lying on the ground you do see um like a lot of, there's like a lot of clothes and stuff um but uh one thing that you see is like um you you kind of like identify one of your bags. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna say that it's um it's a uh, Tessin. Like you see one, you see your bag, and you're like, hey, my my cutting tools are, you know, like my my tools are in there. <laughs> um, and then if you want to keep looking, like it, it's gonna be a matter of time. So basically, oh. you have three hours on your vac suits. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. Then I'm not to, going to waste. Then I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to say, "Hey, Tessa, I think that's yours." Pretty much yeah. looking at the only spotted baggage okay. and uh, so, yeah. move yeah. on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's no, like, oh, I, thank so, God, my tools to help me, my lovely babies. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we need those. We need those. Uh, so what's the okay? You said okay. We got baggage, and then we've got cargo. Would our would our personal bag suits be the cargo or the, the luggage? Um, it would be like if you're if you wanted to spend some time going through luggage. I'm I'm gonna like it's just gonna be a matter of time before you find bag suits. But you're just gonna have to spend some time kind of rummaging through this but stuff I mean, because you don't see any just like lying around. Um, but you, but you, I mean, you already have enough for all of you. So, yeah. But I mean, I, so a vac, a vac suit, these vac suits can fit inside luggage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It would there be. Are, like, there are special design like cases for um, vac suits specifically. Okay. I kind of figured they'd be hanging on a wall or something like that. Okay. It's yeah. like um, that. Uh, that's for engineers. Like, if you actually come with your own vac suit, like you know, personally made stuff, um, it is good to have yeah. like um, specifically in luggage, so that no one else takes it, like a random engineer, because right, then you will yes. get your vac suit back. It's like, hey, why it's is there like fit. all hair and sweat in my vac suit? What the fuck? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. like there's okay. like armored vac suits which are bigger and bulkier, and then there's yeah. like, you know, say that uh, like a belter vac suit would have like way more oxygen in it. Yeah, have that's, like that's why six I'm, hours or eight hours. That's why I'm thinking I want mine. But uh, if I can find it, uh, uh, if I'm assuming it's probably near Tessens. Yeah, yeah, it's just going to take you time to find it because it's chaos, okay. you know. But and and uh, and again, my question about whether the uh, thing was torn open, if it was explosion from the inside, the the tear would be on the outside and vice versa. We, we yeah. can't tell. But it's we, it's hard to tell, but you're going to have to take a closer look. Okay. Because from what you're seeing from just, just looking at it from this mm -hmm. point, it just looks mm -hmm. like all the cars are on top of each other and derailed and, you know, split open. And um, it's just, it's really hard to tell if anything is, de is decompressed or compressed, you know, if there was an explosion, like, Mm -hmm. burn marks or whatever um you you'd have to take a closer look well we did say we would investigate the cause of this so i think we ought to investigate the cause of this so but so anna are you just taking some time to try and find your your vaccine like your bags uh let's see how much time has passed so far um well i'll just make you i'll just make you roll for it okay um so, so do roll 1d6 and then each one is going to be 10 minutes okay would investigate help or probably not um yeah i mean well yeah sure like if okay. you're if you're trying to um just go through all this junk uh mm -hmm. yeah i need to get but just do like 1d6 and then it'll be if you if you get a just it just takes you time you know okay so 1d6 um, okay i don't know how to roll on this thing for just a random die so two so 20 minutes okay it takes you 20 minutes to find your bags so um but hmm. so let's see tessin and lucas while Anna's doing that, do you want to head further up? You yeah, know, I'm going to head closer further up. Look? What? Yeah, I'm testing the um, head out while, um, you know, Anna does what I'm Anna doing. Because yeah. obviously I'm here for the mechanical aspect, not for the investigation aspect of this thing. Mm -hmm. Um. So as you're kind of looking, you know, at these cars... Um, <clears throat> um, as you get further up, you know, and like Anna's just taking some time to find her bag, um, the, um, you get further up and then you see what looks like sort of like a cave in, um, like, uh, like I think that, you know, you've been here long enough that you know that the surface is kind of like porous. Like there's aquifers and stuff. There are mines all over the place. Like there's just like all kinds of um, 
uh, stuff like caverns and stuff that is under the surface. And it looks like um, there is like a, a big kind of cavern that has opened up just like right under the train, like or right under the, the train tracks. Um, and then you, and then you would see that like the, um, the front end, like the, the front, like a, a big portion of the train has like derailed and then just gone like into this cave thing. Um, well, and you just found the reason of the derailing. <laughs> yeah. And um, it, I won't even make you roll for it, but you can uh, you can tell that there was an obviously you know there was an obvious explosion, and then it looks like it was designed to open up like a cave in to um, you know do, this was like a for lack of a better word it, it was a terrorist attack like it was a you know attack on this train and you and one thing that you're not hearing is you're not hearing any kind of like gunfire. You haven't seen anybody making demands. You know, you didn't see like in all the cars that you came for, you never saw anybody like, this is a robbery, you know, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, well, then it looks like um, the only thing I at least can do is like um, take pressure off the train by like at least deconnecting the part of the train that's inside the hole at least. Because mm -hmm. I don't need the rest of the train to fall in there if anything happens. Yeah. So I'll at least try to get work on that to try and like um detach the um hook mechanics and like the pressurized um locks on it. Yeah. So um Victor. I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to help test with that, but before that, I want to take a look at so I imagine of course the lowest part that has fell. It's done. Nothing is there. Everything is destroyed. That's fair. The very, very closest segment that we are going to disconnect, how damaged is it, it, it is? Oh. oh, it's like ripped in half. Okay, okay. So uh, depressurized. This, um, I'm trying to think how to ask this. Ripped in half, what do we see? Do we see uh, corpses? floating around in this right yeah any kind of um so this wasn't the train that had the vac clones uh in fridges pretty much no um so okay if you're looking you know like just say that you grab some flashlights and stuff like when yeah, you're yeah, in yeah. car you said that you grabbed fire extinguishers yeah, yeah. You know, I, I grabbed one for me yeah, like you've been putting out little fires and stuff like as you've been going. Um, yeah, so you you kind of look down there and then like you do see there are like um, cryo, cryo chambers that look like they've, and then like bodies that are kind of like strong, you know, like maybe like bent over a, a crag of like a cliff or, you know, uh, as this cave goes down. And then they're just kind of strewn all about and nobody, you don't see anybody living. Like mm -hmm. if you want to do your like scan thing, you can. Um, but there is nobody that looks alive. <laughs> like they all look dead. They're either like horribly maimed or just like the um the like the cryo tube is like cracked open and like for as long as it's been, like there's yeah. no they're they're just exposed to the you know the atmosphere or whatever. So they like so I don't, so I, I take it that obviously I'm not going time-wise. I cannot go, you know, uh, police drama, try the pulse of everybody else. There is no mental presence here. Everything is still and dead. If you, if you want to do your role, like do your, your thing, your um, psionics. I, I would like to try just to sense a presence pretty much. Um, I yeah. mean, I imagine it's efficient, like I just sense something if if there is something to be sensed. Yeah, if you're like trying, I guess they call it like scanning surface thoughts. If you're just mm -hmm. trying to sort of like reach out and then just like see if you can pick up um, like anything. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess just give me one of your, um, it's not, mm -hmm. I, I always forget, it's not telekinetic, it's- uh, uh, It's telepathic. 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 
Yes, yeah, your PSI ability. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have rolled the psionic strength. Sorry. I just rolled my telepathy. But I also have a psionic strength of rating 11. Is that good? So wait, is that, I mean, that's an 11, I think, right? Like with all of your modifiers? Yeah, I mean, I chose a modifier no, but I imagine, so the powers telepathy uh, doesn't add a modifier. No, so it's a zero, it's a flat. It, but it's uh, your it's your psi. Like, what's your psi? Yeah, what's your psi? PSI? 11, 11. 11 with a modifier of one. Yeah, okay, so I think that, okay, so you rolled a 10. So that would be a 10. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you're kind of like just going over these bodies, like trying to pick up any kind of surface thoughts. Dead. All dead. And like, okay. yeah, you're not getting anything at all. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, a small, like a small knock, nobody's home. Nobody, no answer in the void. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to um, reach through comms to not... Uh, <laughs> Uh, spook anyone again and i'm going to uh say uh, yeah everybody here is cold nobody yeah nobody's alive um so we can safely disconnect pretty much this whole segment if we want yeah um and then so you get you get like a message from anson and no. um and anson says that um uh, Security forces are on their way. We just have to hang tight. It's it's cutting it kind of close, like it's going to be about like 45 minutes. Each train car has about an hour worth of air, um, but like help is on the way. Okay, Roger that. Okay. Um... Right. Uh, Tesson, I'm not an engineering type. You just told, tell me where to disconnect this, where to press what. I'm just going to try to help because she's the one that she's the engineer pretty much. And I'm just going to assist. Um, yeah, um, so I just um, I basically just give you um a wrench on my bag and tell you to um go to the other side. And then mm -hmm. um on the count of three, um, pull right and I pull left. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. All right. And we do yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah, I think it just give me a engineering role. Yep. So I'm um, test like one, two, three, and we pull. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's a success. And then um let's see, Lucas, do you want you have you don't have any engineering or anything like that? No, um, no. What about like strength? Do you want to just uh, I have, I am quite a bulky, I mean, uh, more of a core strength dude. I don't imagine I'm too bulky, but uh, marine training with the mental. Yeah. yeah. I think you can, I can you could something. make them, you could make the mechanics with a minus two to the role because you are just helping basically. So basically whatever you get gets added onto my role. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But that but could also you're... be a negative two because obviously you're rolling with a negative two since you're not trained in mechanic. No, but yeah. I mean, just using like brute strength to kind of like, you know. Right. Uh, uh, so I have, um, I, I may argue I could use my endurance as well, or it's not arguable in this situation. I think so. Endurance is kind of more of like stamina. Okay, oh, just a yeah. stamina. Okay, so I may roll a flat six strength if you wish. Oh, well, you're, I, I can. I, can I throw throw my weight behind it? I mean, I've got mechanic too as well. I'm, I'm oh, well, okay. Right so right. say that it took you, you know, it took you twenty minutes to find your bag, mm -hmm. and then you get up there, um, and then like you know, like uh, Lucas is trying to find anybody that's alive is not getting not getting anything off of any of these bodies you know or like the as far as like scanning surface thoughts of like these cryo tubes or whatever just not getting anything um and so you get up there or do you want to do a mechanic role yeah i can i can uh i'm assuming he has better mechanics than Tristan has better mechanics than i do right probably yeah 
Yeah, but you can just um help me basically. So whatever you get for the roll, um, yeah, basically adds to my roll. So we'll okay. see if you get a, a negative or a positive, basically. So Tessin okay. already got one success. So Okay. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's, that's two successes. I'm not, yeah. So, um, yeah. you uncouple like the cars where it's like they're hanging, you know, it's like this, this, there's just like kind of this cavern. Um, and the, like you successfully uncouple these cars and then they, they go, you know, just flying, just like let loose from the rest of the train and then it kind of like, you know, it shakes. <laughs> and then you even hear like, a, <laughs> or, or I guess the, the cars are pressurized, but it's like the, mm. the whole rest of the train kind of shakes. And then these cars just drop off, no. like into the, um, the cavern. Um, and uh, and then you get it, you get a message from Anson, like everything okay up there. <laughs> We're just getting rid of some loose baggage. Nothing too yeah, hot. Dead weight, yeah. Uh, <laughs> can uh, we uh, get a <laughs> yellow turtle? Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking if we got passengers back in like one car, two cars, and pumped all the rest of the oxygen oxygen into those cars, that would give them extra time. Well, so okay, the um the cars themselves have, you know, like an hour of oxygen in them but the um the little drop down masks have more okay. so it's like you could you could just sit there and like breathe slowly you know and breathe yeah. like um yeah. try not to get stressed out and like hyperventilate um and it would it would you could wait for a while but okay. um so she she kind of says she's like yeah like we've got a lot of people here like in the back um you know um adrian is is treating people he's doing triage um you know he's like fixing broken bones and stuff um you know we've got uh, a couple just, of punctured uh, lungs yeah exactly um any chance he has anything to give people that are hyper hyperventilating anything like that to calm them down um, and she's like, I can, I can try and find something like a, a sedative or something. Um, did you find anything up there in the, uh, in the baggage? Like, did you find any, did you find any extra, like, did you find more vac suits? Um, uh, we've got, um, uh, it would take a while to go through them. I found my vac suit, uh, um, Tessin found his, uh, his a bag with his equipment in it. Uh, I'm sure we could probably find some more. Uh, and maybe also the we haven't we haven't gotten to the engineers thing, right? Well, anyway, the 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 wherever the engineers have theirs, right? Or have we? Yeah, and so if you are like the the engineers, you know, like they're they're fine. There's only two of them in that one car, uh -huh. so they have a lot more air. Yeah. You know. Um, and then, and also like, even, you know, like there's like more emergency kind of gear stuff in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the- We do have some, but I would say that probably we don't have enough for everybody. Probably yeah. wouldn't be a good idea to bring a back suit back there and have people fighting over it. Yeah. But so you do, you do have enough for all of you. You would have you would have one extra one for a DMPC, you know. I guess Anson in this case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but enough for all the PCs, and then one DMPC, mm -hmm. or no six, because you found another one. Yeah, we found. Yeah, we found. Or one. actually, okay. wait, um, Tessin, like I kind of I would I I want to do a luck roll. I wish I could do a luck roll, just to see if you had a vac suit in your bag too. Um, Let's do like 50 50. Yeah, um, yeah. Odds or evens. Just say odds or evens. Uh, okay. Which one? Because you worked like you worked on the, or we said that you guys were like working on the docks and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And your like ex 
you know, Navy or whatever. So it makes, it would make sense for you to have one, but just pick odds or evens. Um, I guess evens. Okay. So you, you have seven vaccines <laughs> total. So you could take another DMPC with you if you wanted to and not also, stick around. And also ever, every, every, um, um, you know, refill thing that we, we that we switch out every one we can find. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You have like spare, yeah, like spare exactly. um yeah. oxygen or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to, I mean, if you want to spend more time like going through the mm -hmm. baggage, it's just gonna take time mm -hmm. to like find more more stuff, you know. It's just like the um, you know, like you spent say that you've spent like a half hour mm -hmm. at least like probably more than that doing all this stuff outside the train and then you have three hours total of oxygen and you're there's anybody oh, yeah we uh i'm thinking that somebody in this uh if we could find some drones i could pilot it pilot them down that hole um yeah i buy, think i did uh, uh at at Andrew's assistance, I didn't, uh, well, with planning, I didn't buy, didn't buy the one there, so, or, or did I? I can't remember. Did I, did I buy the $5,000 one or not? Or did uh, I just you did not buy it. I, I remember um, you said um, you weren't going to buy it. Yeah, I can, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Or you, th I but, think you were, you were thinking about it. You're like, oh, I kind of want to get a drone. And then, yeah, yeah. Now after um, this, you're like, oh, I'm definitely getting a drone now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, I think you could spend you could spend the time looking, but it's just going to take time, you know. Well, like there is the, to do. that that is the type of stuff that would get shipped out here. That is one of the things that they they definitely manufacture, especially mm -hmm. specifically at Greenville, because the the thing that Greenville specializes in is electronics manufacturing. Lucas is going to spend half an hour and a half i'm just trying to look at something because my philosophy is to not waste anything like these people have no use for this anymore so i may look around mm -hmm. Tess is okay. gonna, um Tess is just gonna like um sit down and chill because helped on the way so no need to like really get in tiffy now yeah well i mean if you if you do want to just kind of look through the bags and see what you find like i i kind of have like a mental note of like what kind of stuff is on the train um yeah. so and now nah, tessa's just chilling chill, it's like I, I don't care i did my job job well done just gonna chill yes, it was. waiting for help okay but are, so how much so how much time do you want to spend looking because anson would have told you that like the security forces or whoever is about 45 minutes out and uh, coming okay, in grab like grab out. vehicles okay then half an hour yeah half an okay. hour yeah, most. say half an hour yeah yeah okay so searching for half hour i actually have a table of some of the stuff that i oh i love that can i roll on it like can i roll a, a, a deep something or one um yeah, I just have to find it because I, I made some like random tables of like uh like electronic stuff and um okay, yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna roll? Uh, so yeah, you sure. that you roll a d6 and then you roll another d6. Okay, so I roll a two d6 and it should give two results. That's a six and a four. Six and a four, sixty-four. Um you find some um like uh what do you call it um uh boots that oh. are there for use on like a spaceship where it has like a magnetic thing that like hunt, like turns on so that you can walk around on the um on the like in space on the spaceship yeah mm -hmm. uh you want to spend so okay let's say spend another 10 minutes looking like looking for something good does anybody else want to roll Oh yeah, digital two D six for the drones. Yeah, mag magnetic like space boots. Mm -hmm. 
okay. Uh, I'm only searching bad. Well, if we do a random search, I've got um, a three mm -hmm. and a five. Some of these are pretty good. Like they're expensive. Um, wait, what did you roll again? A three and a five. 35. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, that is, uh, you find a, um, uh, it's a, like a, uh, what do you call it? No, I'm going to give you the drones. I mean, you found, you found, uh, some of the drones, like the ones that you were looking mm -hmm. at, like in the mall. Mm -hmm. So what it was is that it was a, um, like a robotic servant thing but um it's like a robo butler thing um but i'm gonna say that if you if you're spending the time to look and then like you know if Tessin is just chilling i'll give you the drones if you want the drones yeah because you know what they look like you know what like the brand is you know what the pack you know you're like that's the yeah. one <laughs> that's the yeah. one that i was looking at in the mall yeah um it's yeah so i will give you um so you find there are two of the um uh what do you call it the courier drones mm -hmm. and then you find um the uh one of the surveillance drones too okay so just just so you know like i'm not saying like you're you're out of time now you've mm -hmm. spent all this time looking but there was um like cybernetic implants in here and like high grade um manufactured electronics which are worth a lot of money mm -hmm. um but you're but you didn't find them <laughs> they were pretty well hidden so like cybernetics or like cybernetic implants are crazy expensive they go into the millions of credits mm -hmm. Uh, can yeah, we tell um, they're insanely good? <laughs> yeah. Can we can we tell what um, uh, these bags uh, do? They have like an indication of what um, compartment the owner is in, or anything like that. You know, um. Like so the this stuff would have been in the cargo. Yeah. It would have been in like the tipped over cargo. That's like you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. I'm, so we're we're not necessarily robbing a passenger. It's been traumatized. No, you're robbing a corporation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or, okay, like, okay. I mean, it's partially destroyed anyway. So it's like that. Like it's it's an insurance write off for them. So yeah. Okay. All right. We're travelers. No problem, we're hired mercenaries. Basically, we don't yeah. care about the government. <laughs> also, especially we now haven't husband. found. We have not found anything. Okay. Tesson saw nothing. I saw nothing. Anna saw yeah. nothing. We already Tessa mm -hmm. literally saw nothing. She just they're chilling, <laughs> yeah. taking some Z's. <laughs> so, so you got you guys like you find a bag, and then you're like shake it out, and then you toss the grab boots and the the drones in there, and then and then like Lucas is like, okay, this is my bag, that's your bag, and that's your bag, and we saved the train. That's our story, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So. Are you are you all are you heading back? Are you are you going back in? Are you gonna like do you, or are you gonna like hang out on the tracks or I assume yes, there's no point in wasting oxygen from the suits. Like go inside, consume the oxygen of the derailed train. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like as you head back in, you know, to the train, um, you see these like you know, you're you're kind of like moving back towards the back of the train where there's more like light coming in, you know, from like the entrance to the tunnel. Um, mm -hmm. And then you see these guys like this, these, they look, you know, it's like the security forces, right? And they come in on these things that are like um, grab, um, grab vehicles, but they're almost like, like picture like a few Blackhawks, you know, like landing. And then mm -hmm. these guys come pouring out and they've got their, you know, guns drawn and everything. And then they're trying to like kind of secure the the trains, like each mm -hmm. car by car. So they like like walk past the like the first train and then they see like the injured people, you know, and like people like with masks on and all that. And then they like go like train by train 
and kind of work their way up up to the um the engineering car and like the cars that you have severed Mm -hmm. which are like they're all just destroyed anyways yeah um and then they like make their way or actually let me see what do we want you kind of want you to roll for this um i think i would i would take like recon or um maybe streetwise uh, recon band definitely okay yeah recon as well yeah same or actually um lucas if you want to try and scan their surface thoughts you can do that too i mean from past experience in the same campaign i may be a little bit reticent to try that because from what I understand, they can sense these intrusions, these attempts, right? Mm-hmm. Well, they so, so um, it depends. It's like, um, yeah, I think, well, maybe you've spent enough time here that you know that there are like special helmets that are kind of designed to like repel, repel uh-huh. mm-hmm. when people are trying to do that exact thing, like trying to oh. read your mind or whatever. Mm-hmm. But would I know if they get notified of this attempt? Mm-hmm. D- yeah, it depends. Like, like okay, there are different depends. grades. There's different grades of like anti psionic yeah. like gear. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a coward, but I think yeah, we yeah. took enough action for uh, this yeah. certain instance. So I'm going to refrain from uh, yeah. trying that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why it shows it's showing up as electronics there because I hit recon, but. Uh, ten. It says it says recon for me. No, I got I got your roll. It's it's well. So you. Oh, oh, oh that's well, a, you go for that's, 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 that. Okay, there we go. So, there we go. So like I mean, all of you eight, got eight, like a, yeah. Or sorry, sorry, Anna. Anna got a success. Mm, um, yeah. So you kind of look, you know, like as they're you look towards the front of the train as they're like securing mm-hmm. all these cars, and then like they get up to the like the front where the cars have been severed. And then they're like, clear, clear, you know, and then like they kind of look down, like, and then see all of the, like the bodies kind of strewn from the, um, like the, the cryo car. And then they're like, like, you see them like visibly, like they're pissed, you know? Um, And, uh, and then they make their way back um, and start, you know, uh, start, um, like um they you know like come up and like knock on the uh knock on the window and stuff and they're like stay stay in the the car we're going to take the wounded first you know and they're like doing the same thing like the triage thing where they're like looking for the people that are the most badly wounded and then they're trying to load them onto these um like grab grab helicopter things you know and then take them back and it's just going to take like multiple trips so they're going for like the most injured people first Mm -hmm. um and if you but if you're all like you are in good really good shape all of you look just Mm -hmm. fine Mm -hmm. um i will i'll just say this if you wanted to, if you wanted to vanish and, and like, not, not let them know, or sorry. So they're, they're making, you know, like trips mm-hmm. uh, to take people back. If you wanted to just vanish and then hoof it, this would be the perfect time to do it. And then you have enough like vac suits between all of you. And like extra air, you know, or whatever, that you could mm-hmm. definitely make it back easily. Or you could just wait, you know, for um, but you would be like one of the last um trips. Yeah. Yeah, I love uh, that. I want to vanish. You do? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want well, I mean, to they, I mean they, they know we're on here because we we give them the information, but we can just say we we decided to hit it back. Yeah. That way they and have a chance to take a look at our bags. Well, yeah. So I mean, it, it's up to you. I was so I would I would like to get a consensus. You know, like um, 
Yeah, okay, so I'm going to, I mean, in order to, uh, I'm going to pull the team, you know, like I, in my desire, I want to, I see this opportunity and I want to skedaddle pretty much. I want to not be seen here. This is me, but I want to know your opinions as well. And can we trust the Marine? The um, can we trust Anson and mm -hmm. the engineer by Tang? This is questions in game. Like I'm talking, like how do we perceive these two individuals? They are they help us, but are, could they be trustworthy? Like right? yeah, um, Tessin just shrugs you and like just says like quite honestly like um to be frank with you, I don't trust any of you or the Marines. But if I had to bet money on it. I better have a better chance going with you guys than um, being with a powder wig. Mm -hmm. So and, I'm all for just ditching. Yeah. And, and um, Anson does seem like she is sufficiently distracted, you know, with everything that's going on, like trying to keep everybody calm and like do with the triage process, you know, and all that. Well, well we all did. right, but she's the, sorry, uh, she's with the team. So these guys came in. They started the sweeps, and she's just snapped back in the role. Like she's right now talking with them and probably helping this triage. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. she's okay. like trying to get people, you know, that are like the most injured onto yeah. the yeah, yeah, first yeah. flight yeah. out. Okay, so you know. so so she's a man of a man, a woman of the system. She's yeah. literally a cop. She she is she is a cop. Yeah, she is yeah. like. You know, security okay. forces. Character-wise, then I cannot trust that. Well, I, mean, I cannot I, trust that. Yeah, uh, and what I, what I was going to say is like, you know, they're going to know if we're not if it was, since we called in that we're not amongst the people when they start asking them questions. But on the other hand, we do all have back suits. Uh, we're not injured. Uh, we know we we would be the last people there rather than wait seven hours or whatever it is. It's like we decided just to walk back. And in the meantime, um, and, we... yeah, and and one thing though, Anson did. Everybody did get a really good look at your faces. So yeah, just well, okay. Well, no, I'm not saying. I, uh, what I'm saying is, is like, like, uh, yeah, they know, they know who we are. They know we were here, but it would be perfectly reasonable for us not to want to wait uh, yep. eight, eight hours if we could walk back in two. You know. Yeah. And, also, and because um, Tessin don't need um. The government going through her um, back records again of her in the navy and shit because um if they know about that then um they're gonna know about the fuck ups that happen and she don't need that um right now yeah yeah so and so also all of you did just recently get detained except for lucas you so it's like they id'd you and then yeah. you were in an area that was like you were yeah. kind of like associated with a crime, but not really like they, they ID'd you. Mm -hmm. So you might be in a database. Well, actually, something. was I was I detained because I had I'd already started walking off? I don't rem I, I I think for, I it's, remember Tessin. It's um it's only um Adrian and um Tessin that um were um you know and, yeah, I, I was, Navy. Yeah. 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 So, so half the, so half the party the are on record with the officers. Yeah. The other half. But my, my point my point is is like, okay, so they if they care enough to try to track us down, uh, they find us as we have a perfectly reasonable explanation as to why. Hey, we got fact suits. Why the hell would we wait eight hours? We did we did our job helping out the uh, uh, mm -hmm. same, you know, getting the the train taken care of. So we're not going to wait seven eight hours. Just sitting there, and in the meantime, we could show stuff in case they want to search our stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just, or just say we can. <laughs> okay, I, so I think, let's, uh, let's I think go. we, I think let's we go. walk and just, you know, bluff it if they give us a problem. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's going to take you a while. You know, it's going to take you hours to like walk back, but you can vanish if you want to, mm -hmm. if, if that's the majority vote. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't really want to split the party. I mean, like I, I, well, you can, we can. No, no, but, no we're, we're going together. Yeah. Yep. I'd like Obviously, to get a consensus. Already, yes. was already in the agreement of like, just going with them, Lucas and the simple like principle of like, I don't want more people to know who I am here. 
because if they know mm -hmm. who I am, I have to explain everything, and that's paperwork that I don't want to do. Mm -hmm. But and it's still it's still less time for us to walk than it would be to sit there and wait for them to call to to, to bring us as the last people in, right? Yeah. Okay. So if, so if if they do care enough to track us down, we got a perfectly perfectly reasonable explanation as to like why are we going to sit around for seven hours when we could get there in in three? I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah. So um, I think I do want like one. I want a stealth roll from somebody. Um, yeah. And depending on how good it is, like I might give you another crack at the cargo. <laughs> um, uh, let's hope, cross my heart and hope to not die. Hey, that's a, tw that's a 12 and then a, an eight. So that's one. Um, so let's see. Okay, Tessin, can I get a stealth roll? Do you have stealth? I'll be, I'll be doing this with um, a negative two to the roll because I do not have trained in stealth. Well, so, Lucas rolled a 12, so you can do yeah. it with... Um, so that would be a seven. Okay, so that's... Um, yeah, I'm going to give I'm going to give you guys the... Uh, yeah, yeah. So you... You do make it out of there. Um, you do manage to just like sneak off in all the chaos. Um, but I'm not going to give you another crack at the cargo. That was it wasn't quite good enough. Yeah. Um okay, so I think that's kind of a good stopping point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um but uh yeah, so it's it's not really like it isn't really necessarily really dangerous to like walk on the surface just to hoof it. It's just, it's just like treacherous, you know, it's like rough, kind of rough terrain, mm -hmm. but there are like trails and stuff. Like mm -hmm. there are um, like Jeep trails, you know, for lack mm -hmm. of a better word. So, and you know, like you, you know where you came from and you can, you could follow the tracks, you know, like the, like the maglev tracks or whatever mm -hmm. make it back just fine so i'm not going to make anybody roll for anything like that but i think yeah. that's a good a good stopping place okay. yeah that was awesome <laughs> cool <laughs> i'm glad you we did. we did it we saved the day guys and then fucked off <laughs> like batman would <laughs> um so is everybody free next week but it's fine by me. Same, yeah, yeah. same time, yeah. same, same place. Okay. Yeah, I'll be free. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah. right. I forgot. Um, what happened with your friend, by the way? Um, are they joining or no? Andrew. Uh, uh no. Mel's probably asking about the other Andrew. Uh he has some serious issues with sleep, so he kind of falls asleep randomly, and uh, today. He felt asleep, hopefully for his good health, but uh, it's a little bit chaotic. I couldn't reach them. I told them, you know, you can talk with Steve. Um, uh, I even give uh, given them the um, like uh, uh, the opportunity, like to talk with you and make a character if you can. But he never reached back. Like they're pretty much very video game focused, so. They wasted the time. <laughs> they didn't. Well, reach. It's only like three in the morning for you, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only three in the morning. You know, <laughs> casual time to play traveler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He, he's a he's a night owl like me, but um, mm -hmm. he tries to repair the sleep schedule, and it's a little bit annoying because uh, one time he will be up twenty four hours, another time he will be down twenty four hours, like. Yeah. That's, that's not that's not a night owl. That's just someone that has just a bad sleep schedule. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I used to be like that. Like I I used to be like nocturnal. Actually, I had a job though where I was doing I was working like security, mm -hmm. and then I ended up like just it was like I was totally have my days and nights switched, even yeah. after I like quit the job, you know. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't even the thing that really made me want to quit. 
it was because I was standing up for really long shifts and it was just destroying my knees. Yeah. yeah. And your back pretty much. It's not. Yeah. 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 It's, it's also, it's like really, it's hard on your body. Like you, people, Mm -hmm. people who, you know, have their days and nights switch, like they have more like liver problems. They have like, you get like vitamin D deficiency, Mm. like stuff like that. Mm. But um, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, sounds good. Play next week. Yeah. 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 Just, just, just another note. Lucas has scribbled everything, or at least stored it in something. Uh, uh, all the details. I want to investigate this company with some of mm. my contacts later down the line. Oh, totally. Yeah. With yeah, like Dragonfly. That's, that, that's or... why I didn't want it to be intrusive with the guards right now because they can know. But I want to get in contact with some hacker buddies like, hey, have you heard of Astrogen Biotech? Hey, have you heard of some transport on this date? I'm not going to tell them I was on the transport or we were right. on the transport. Yeah. I'm asking right. like, I am a third party. I'm asking like, I wasn't involved, but I'm curious and to see mm-hmm. if there is something yeah. there. But uh, so this actually that that that's kind of important. Um, Are you reaching out? Are you talking to Dragonfly? Yeah. Yeah. Like trying to get information about this. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right. That's all I want to know. Yeah. 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 I'm already often um, giving my um, ID to the officers because the fact that I'm trying to not have a certain person figure out where I am for reasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, if this person knows, if he knows where I am, um, it's gonna be bad news for everyone because of the fact that I know him and he knows me for reasons that are has to do with my leg and um, yeah. Cool. I'm sorry. Right. Man, I, um, what were we saying? Wait a minute. He knows. He... Oh, say that again. Um, so, you know him and him not you. So in my life path, I got an enemy, and that enemy is connected to the reason why I lost my leg in the injury. Oh, so yeah, I don't right. quite like them, and they don't quite like me. But it's like enemies will actually try to kill you, like not yeah. not just that's, screw up your day, you know. Or, yeah, yeah, that's why I legit like I'm on thin ice already because if they know where I am, it's mm-hmm. bad news for everyone. Yeah. Cool. But uh, yeah, that's um, yeah the the, the corporation because I mean that's weird because like I said any, any if they can grow organs, I know it's easier. Well, with our technology, it would be easier just to grow a whole person, you know, in the near future than it would be to grow specialized limbs. But so I could see. But if there are if they're already past the park where they can do specialized limbs, why bother to grow the whole body? So. What the hell are they? Well, it'll come up. It'll definitely come up, for, yeah. especially yeah. if Victor is talking to Dragonfly because they, yeah. it's that's kind of what they do is like dig into like dirty corpos and, yeah. um, like hack them and stuff, and that's kind of their mo. <laughs> yeah, my my theory craft is that the police force was so pissed because they are in cahoots with the corporation. So that mm-hmm. was probably for a client that would yeah. be very pissed off, very pissed off. Exactly. Yeah. Probably, the whole, like... probably the whole colony is going to get some uh, uh, drawbacks because of these terrorists. Yeah. So mm-hmm. everybody is pretty much like, you tell me who did this. If you don't, all of you get punched. So. Yeah. So you know how like like in um like Las Vegas, like if you go to Las Vegas, like prostitution is illegal, but Mm -hmm. they Mm -hmm. kind of like turn up like the it's kind of like Wild West Mm. capitalism or whatever, or like you know, in in Colorado where it's like, oh, like we don't really care if you smoke pot, you know, like eh, it's Mm. fine. (laughs) Like even though it goes against federal law, like you're kind Mm -hmm. of it's kind of the same thing here with like a lot of stuff like if you're rich here there's yeah, a lot of stuff that you can away with yeah exactly yeah. and of course the uh one wonders about the uh let's say obviously it looks like there were some people involved in um 
uh, derailing the train uh, with that uh, that cavern there. It's like, yeah, I mean, were, were they doing it, this to get rid of the clones? All, all this because I mean, they're they're not making any demands. They're not claiming credit for anything. Yeah, and and the fact that um, the there was like half staff, you know, like there was only one guy. Yeah. In the in the um the middle, you know, engineering train, and then there was the one guy driving, you know, in the front of the train. Yeah. yeah. So it's like there should have been at least like twice yeah. as many career there should have been maybe like two guys in the front two guys in engineering and then two guys in the back you know so there's only yeah. like two people actually working yeah, just, just on yeah. a skeleton crew. Uh, yeah and the question on that is did they just know that the people were short staffing it or is there somebody working for the train that was deliberately short staffing us yeah and there's there's all these strikes happening you know yeah. so yeah, but uh, yeah, my my character has not been in, in trouble, but being a belter is like distrusting the authority comes, you know, second nature. <laughs> yep, it's yeah. less about my character being in trouble and more just the fact, that, like, um, <laughs> reasons for the other person not to know where I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Anna's not, not, doesn't really have any, any enemies or anything like that, but you know, a few contacts, but. That's just yeah, you don't have second. you don't have baggage, yeah, and I get it. You yeah, don't so, have the baggage with you. Yeah. So, so, but but second nature of any of any belter is like you don't trust other corporations, you don't trust authority. Yeah, you don't trust trust the security forces, you don't trust the corpus. Um all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let my dog out, but uh okay. that was fun. So see, yeah. see you guys Thank you very much, next everyone. week. All right. Yep, have a good one, everyone. See you next All right. week. All right. Good night.